We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. One of the things I wanted to make sure you did not overlook today is this week's waiting child. He's a young man by the name of Sean, and he loves, of all things, history. Hi, Brady. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm well, Lynn. I'm doing great. This is Sean. 15 year old Sean loves history local history in particular, so we were lucky enough to get a personal tour at the John Hines History Center. Sean, here we are. This is our Pittsburgh tradition of innovationism. John, like school, says he gets good grades and has narrowed down his career options after graduation. WWE wrestler or a video game designer. Sean's favorite foods are meat lover's pizza and panda paws ice cream. He's not a fan of sauerkraut or baked beans. He's confident and assured and had no problem describing himself. Smart, funny, handsome, um, just playing around amazing. If another person were to describe me, probably the same exact things. And that is pretty much how I would describe Sean, too. He's very open to the idea of being adopted and has a pretty good idea of what would be a good fit for him. Mom and dad, sister or brother, but hopefully sister. Dog, cats, rabbits, or even a ferret. I think it's fair to say Sean likes animals. The only thing missing now is a family to share moments with, like vacations. Disney World because I just want to get a Harry Potter wand and pen. And I want to go to all the Harry Potter exhibits and all that. And then Hawaii because it's nice and hot there all the time. Sean is a waiting child. He just might be waiting on you. And if you'd like more information about Sean or any of the children waiting to be adopted, you can contact the Statewide Adoption Network at 1-800-585-SWAN, or you can log on to our website at kdka.com slash waiting child. And KDKA is very pleased to announce that more than 60% of the children we feature on our waiting child segment have actually found forever families. We thank you for that. We switch gears now and... Achieving Greatness Incorporated is putting together an event that, in a word, you don't want to miss. Here to talk about it, the legendary well, Bill Neal. I didn't say what the legend was. <laughs> I just said the legendary okay, Bill Neal. I'll take whatever I can do. <laughs> On behalf of Achieving Greatness Incorporated, and he is joined by Mark Whited. Is that, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes, ma'am. Whited. And uh, he is the author of Pittsburgh's Forgotten Champs. Welcome to you both. Well, I should tell you yeah. I'll, 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 immediately, it's okay. Major Mark Whited, and he's a 15-year retired Marine. So, hail to Mark. See, you tell me all that once well, after we start. You I'm don't sorry. tell me that I'm before sorry. we start. I just got reminded, so it's okay. important that everybody knows this all is right. a So that a wasn't veteran. my oversight major? Oh, that's okay. That, that was it. That was just mine. for that the record. All right, we're wasting time. Let's talk about it. The other thing I got to say real quick is, just for the, for the viewers, mm -hmm. the polka dots and stripes are on purpose. So don't nobody think I don't know how to dress. The late great Alvin Bird would tell you, men, dress up your stuff, man. Okay. Spark oh, yeah, it up. Bird would say Bird, that. You know, you know Bird Alvin Bird. Would say that, Mix yeah. it up, man. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Listen, it's Major Mark White had, had an idea. Um, he was going to write a book, and mm -hmm. he can tell you about it. But he contacted the Phoenix Suns. He was going to interview Connie Hawkins and other members of the 1968 world champion Pittsburgh Pipers. And Connie passed away. Mm -hmm. While he was in Phoenix, they gave him my number because of my connection with Connie and running the Connie Hawkins League here for so many years. Mm -hmm. And when he called me, I thought, this is kind of strange. But then when I called him back, we connected, we clicked. And his idea of writing a book about this legendary team that was a world championship team with Connie Hawkins, who at the time was the LeBron James of his time, mm -hmm. MVP of the league, MVP of the tournament, leading scorer of the league, and future Hall of Famer in the NBA. And I just got on board with it. So Saturday, May 5th, we're going to recognize, memorialize, and salute the late, great Connie Hawkins. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh's hometown hero who went on to become an NBA All-Star, NBA Hall of Famer, and one of the 50 greatest players of all time. Mm -hmm. And with that, this, uh, this salute, um, thanks in part to Major Whited, will bring back members of Connie's championship team. Wow. Now, Major, so, I mean, how did you get interested in this? Okay, well, I, I, my dad, you know, I guess it started with my dad, you know, 1970, he got season tickets to the Steelers when you could just walk right up and get them, mm -hmm. right? And I'd all, I was already a Pirate fan, Steelers, Penguins. I went off to college, and I was fortunate enough to go to Miami University and 
um, watch the pain of the Bengal fans and the Brown fans and that sort of thing. And okay. I went off to the Marine Corps. <laughs> the pain of. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, they say the, the Pittsburgh fans travel well and all that. Mm -hmm. And no, it's just because we scattered after the Steelers won the four Super Bowls. Because okay. the steel mill went, went down. And so I was, you know, I've always been fascinated of how we've got this pride uh, everywhere we go in the world. So I started out to write one book, but then uh, in my research, of this team that everybody's pretty much forgotten about, unfortunately. Right. The story is so interesting and compelling, I thought, no, I'm going to write a book about them, the Pipers. Nobody's ever written about them, about them before. Mm -hmm. um, if Connie Hawkins had somehow played out his four years at the University of Iowa, been drafted by the NBA, and for some reason there was a team here in Pittsburgh, um, there probably would have been two or three NBA championships and there would be a street named after Connie. There'd probably be a community center named after Connie. He'd be right up there with Mario. Absolutely, absolutely. And it wouldn't have been that hard to happen. We almost got a team here in 1960. Huh. You know, the NBA decided to give us a team and then it got yanked. I see, okay. It, got, it literally is the Civic Arena was opening. I gotta ask you about this ball sitting here in front of us. Well, that's a souvenir, that's the, that's the ABA red, white, and blue ball, the signature ball that the ABA used back in the day. But that particular ball is a keepsake of mine, given to me by, I'm proud to say, uh, a friend, Julius Dr. J. Irving, who mm. looked at Connie as his hero. So I got to know Dr. J through Connie Hawkins, as I did many, many great athletes. But Dr. Dr. J looked up to Connie, and in our last tribute to Connie here in Pittsburgh, uh -huh. Dr. J came in, was our guest speaker, and literally said to an audience of 1,200 people at the Hilton Hotel, if there hadn't been a Connie Hawkins, it would have never been a Dr. Wow. J. Okay. So he gave me that basketball uh, when he was here, so I've, I've held on to it. And now you brought it to give it to me. How about that? <laughs> yes, it's, well, it's you exactly what I give it to me. <laughs> oh, okay. So both of you we'll are doing it. We'll yeah, work it out. We'll work it out. And about Dr. J. Dr. J would tell you that Connie was Dr. J before Dr. J. Hmm. He would tell you that. Wow. Um, you know, it was through the, it, I already wrote the story of the Pipers uh -huh. and then I started interviewing them. There's 13 of them still alive. Uh -huh. And I traveled as far away as Oregon, New Mexico, Mississippi. I've talked to every single one in person. No kidding. In the course of interviewing these guys, they've, they've practically become part of my family. It had dawned on me They've never had a reunion. They won this championship in 1968. They scattered. Nobody's ever, the city, you know how we love to honor the Steelers? Oh, absolutely, but Penguins, we never honored the Pipers. And justifiably so. We wear that on our, on our sleeve. I don't want to run out of time here, so we're talking about the weekend of May 4th and 5th. Yeah, on, on Friday, May 4th, Chuck Sanders, the very generous entrepreneur that owns the Savoy, is donating his facility. There's going to be a reception, a come one, come all reception that also includes this year's induction of the Connie Hawkins League Summer Basketball League Hall of Famer. So uh -huh. it's a combo of that and this uh, tribute at the Savoy on Friday, May 4th, 6 and Teal, come one, come all, meet these legends as they all come home, and then Saturday, May 5th at the Marriott Hotel Center City, there'll be a reception at 6, dinners at 7, a war tribute, uh, Councilman Dan Lavelle, State Representative uh, Austin Davis, um, State Representative Ed Ganey, uh, State Representative Jake Wheatley, uh, the uh, the uh, chief executive of Allegheny County uh, are all on board with this thing. Mm -hmm. Our effort is to back to the future, if you will, to remind Pittsburgh about this great championship team that at the time was the best team in the world and to pay homage to a guy that a lot of us, including me, I owe my professional career to Connie Hawkins. Connie Hawkins. Um, as you well know, the Connie Hawkins League was Absolutely. the number one uh, show in town for, for, for 30 years and ranked top 10 in the nation for 10 years as mm -hmm. one of the top 10 summer basketball leagues nationwide. So we owe a lot to Connie and it's my pleasure to, to, to do this. I need to jump in. How do folks get tickets? 412-628-4856, 412-628-4856, call. Tickets they need are, to do that now. Right, because so tickets are running, tickets. T running tight. Go. And um, it's, 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 if you know, if you're basketball, basketball family, basketball player coach, any way, shape, or form, if you play tennis with Connie, everybody needs to come out you and say thank that. you, Hawk. Major, when's the book coming out? Uh, the publisher wants me to have it done by end of September, so it'll take six to nine months after that. So it'll be okay. sometime so you'll come back then. You'll come back when the book is out. Oh, yes, of Got course. Got a deal. Yes. Thank then the movie, so then the screenplay, <laughs> and the, you know. We'll, I'm not going to ask. My people will call your people. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back. Hill District Dance Academy Theater is having a celebration. They're up next.